Good morning, you guys. Um, this is not, well, it is a reading. It is a reading, but I'm not going to use cards because um, I got some clairaudient and clairvoyant downloads. So I'm just going to do the daily tea right now um, off these downloads. I literally, <gasps> excuse me, it hasn't been 30 minutes. It hasn't been 30 minutes since I got these downloads. So I feel somebody might need to hear these in the collective um, hope, um, soon um, because it's regarding children. It's very important, and hopefully this helps. Hopefully this helps save somebody's life. Um, seriously, a child's life. Um, so if it helps sa save one child's life in the collective, then I will come in here with looking a hot mess, literally, literally just getting out of bed with my son's jacket on and, and share these with you. Um, so yeah. Okay. So the, um, okay. So I, I had a vision and I got some clear audio downloads. Oh, excuse me. So I'm just going to, um, share with you basically what I, what I got. Uh, like I said, no, no, I'm not going to do any cards unless I, hear from spirit to do them or feel guided to do them so okay so i heard um i saw it was far away it was far away and it wasn't a very long vision but it was i did see it um so um okay i saw a female going to she was outside of school she was outside of school it was a caucasian female and medium size esque, medium to large esque size. Um, Caucasian female, dark hair, and thirties. Um, I'd say thirties to forties esque. But she was. She had a fake ID, um, and she was sitting in her car, laughing, laughing on the phone, laughing to somebody. Um, basically. Um, um, bragging that she was about to go in and um nap somebody's kids um true story i mean how sick is that how sick is that but that is what i freaking saw um and she was looking at this fake id in her vehicle laughing like some weird mentally deranged person um and i'm serious i'm serious about that but she was looking at this i mean she had an id a fake id of whoever she was about to go in and pretend she was basically but she i mean she had this id so she had her id basically um to go in and check these children out because she was claiming to be the parent or the guardian of these children basically um but she was laughing she was laughing on the phone to somebody so you know whoever this is they're either mental, mentally deranged, a Satanist, or both. And I mean, I hate to say that, but I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious because it's the truth. So then she gets out of her vehicle and she, um, she proceeds to the school and, um, she goes in, of course, she straight face, straight faces it. She's not walking in, acting all evil genius, evil, you know, evil genius. And, um, like she was in the car to her bestie or her partner or her person in, um, crime. Oh yeah. I forgot. I forgot to say one other thing. When she, um, after she made that phone, call, she was on the phone. Ha ha ha. Evil, evil, evil. I'm about to go nap some kids. Evil, evil, evil. She made another phone call. She made another phone call right after that, and it was to um, it was to a, a car, a getaway car, like, and it was right around the school. So she has uh, she has an accomplice, and they had a getaway car um, plan and part, and well, not part, but plan around the school. So she was contacting that person because. When she was on the phone with that person, she's like, you, you, you're around the school, right? Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, obviously business with this um, partner with the getaway vehicle, basically. And it was literally, I think it might have been driving around the school. Like they had this whole setup thing going. So, 
she gets off on them. Well, then she goes into the school, changes her mask, changes her face. Of course, not in there smirking like an evil, evil genius, joking and joking, ha, 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 and um, secret conversations with, um, you know, the person in the vehicle, um, being all high and mighty and haughty about it, right? So then she goes into the school with her fake ID, checks the children out, um she's obviously a doppelganger of whoever she's um whatever parent she's doppelganging so she uses the fake id and she looks like the the parent it's a white caucasian female um with dark hair 30s 40s goes in uses the fake id checks the child um well in this in this vision it was child it was child checks the child out but you know in some of these cases dear god in this particular vision it was one child one child checks the child out and um um and then um proceeds to leave now the child whoever this is for um was a younger child it was a younger child elementary school age child um and then they checks the child out they come out of the school right it was a um younger boy it was a younger boy he was probably about um oh my gosh he was he was young i'd say like seven years old five to seven five to seven maybe five to eight five seven five eight he was caucasian um and he had um young uh lighter sandy hair light lighter sandy color-esque hair um from what i could see he was a cute little kid but i maybe he was maybe he was seven five to seven so he couldn't have been very old very old i'm thinking like um second grade is what i'm thinking first or second grade not very old um and then, uh, so, you know, he didn't know it wasn't his mom, is what I'm trying to say. He didn't know it wasn't his mom, um, which is sad, which is really, really sad. I mean, you know, the woman, I'm assuming she was joking in the vehicle that, oh, she looks just, you know, just like her. And, uh, um, she was joking in the vehicle. Yeah, I'm about to go nap this kid. <laughs> Um, it was really quite disgusting. It was very, it was very disgusting. It was disgusting is what it was. Um, disgusting. It was disgusting. I, I don't know how else to describe it. It was disgusting. So, yeah. So, but the child had no idea. They had no idea it wasn't their mom. Um, until they get into the getaway vehicle comes around. And it was a van. You know, typically how people are like, oh, yeah, the getaway van, getaway van, the white van, the getaway van. Um, It really was a van. Now, it wasn't white, but it really was a van. Um, It was actually a red van <laughs> in my specific dream. And um, they get in, and once the child gets in, they realize they look up and they say you're not my mom and then but the sherry was able to check the child out at that point and she said doesn't matter now asshole get in the van and she pushes him in the van and then they 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 freaking take off and that was the end of the vision that was the end of the vision and so um so just saying just saying um so you know her false mask comes off because she got what she wanted and she got what she wanted and she napped the she napped the child her goal in that was she took advantage of the fact that she looked just like um or not well doppelgangers don't look just like their doppelganger usually um not like identical twin energy um, but they look almost exactly alike, almost exactly alike. So she obviously took advantage of that to the point she went and got a fake ID. She went and got a fake ID of, um, you know, on the streets, obviously, um, 
you know, contacted somebody on the streets to get this fake ID because you're obviously not going to go to the DMV to get the fake ID, you know, so she has to have connections street side, that's what I'm saying, to get this fake ID. Um, and, but she was so happy that she got away with it. She was so happy. And she was bragging to her friend to do in the vehicle. Oh, yeah, I'm about to go in. I'm about to do this thing. I know I look just like her. And we are about to make so much bank off this kid. But they were successful. They were successful. Um, but the kid had a bazinga moment when they were, he was getting in the vehicle. But at that point, they were already all together in that van. And they had already had him at that point. And she said to him, um, doesn't matter now. Um, and then she pushes him. She pushes him and then it, the dream cut off. Um, uh, not the dream. I'm sorry. The, um, the vision cut off. It wasn't like a super long vision. It wasn't a super long vision, but it was one of the longer ones that I've had. Uh, but it was a Caucasian boy. It was a Caucasian boy. I'd say about second grade, um, I'd say about second grade, um, just, uh, like sandy blonde hair, sandy blonde hair, cute little kid, such a cute little kid, and, um, and would, and sad, and sad, but my point with this is I feel somebody's about to try to nap somebody's kids, but they're about to do it and take advantage of the fact that they look just like somebody, i.e. doppelganger energy. Um, and I'm serious about that. I'm serious. And, um, for those of you that, um, uh, Spiritual Advisor LLC, I already posted it, but I'll post it, I'll say it again. She did a reading last night. It's Secret 7. Boom, it's Secret 7. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Uh, if anybody wants to, um, original Secret 7, the original Secret 7, not, you know, I know there's many Secret 7s these days. The original one. From um, Huntsville, Alabama. That one. Just saying. Um, if anybody's interested in checking that out. Um, just saying. Oh, and if you think anyone else can benefit from these messages, if you um, if you want to share these on your social media, you're welcome to do so. If this helps one person out there in the universe, um, I want to do that. I want I want to do that. But my, my what I was going to say with this is, that scares the hell out of me as a parent. It scares the hell out of me because... I have two kids. I have two kids. I have a 15-year-old and a 14-year-old. Uh-uh. Hey, I'm on, I'm on the video. Don't yell. I have a 14 and a 15-year-old. Now, my kids have enough discernment to know. They have enough discernment to know um, that it wouldn't be me. You know, um, and I have a doppelganger. I have a doppelganger. And, um, I do personally, but my kids wouldn't, in fact, I'm about to show them a picture of my doppelganger just in case she, you know, I'm not saying she's mentally deranged. I'm not saying my doppelganger is mentally deranged, but for the safety of my children, I want to make sure my kids are safe. But my point is my kids are older. Mine are 14 and 15. I could show my kids a picture of anybody, doppelganger or Joe Blow down the street and say, Hey, this person, we need to be aware of this person be leery and they would have you know they're old enough and um to know to have the discernment skills to be like oh no creepy lady oh no creepy lady we need to call the police kind of energy you know what i'm saying um this kid was not old enough to discern it is what i'm saying he was like um i think i, I would say six or seven he was young he was young i mean he did discern it once he got to the van but it was too late at that point. It was too late. It was too late. Um, it was it's sad. It's sad. But anyways, yeah. So um, I got a channel too. So I'm going to share that as well. Uh, okay. So the channel I sh um, the channel I received with that was basically um, um, oh God. See, it's got me all. It's got me up to all to work with my vision. I mean, and I'm just being for real. Okay, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it because I, I think I, I'm, 
I am so emotional about that. I am so emotional about that because when I get visions, I get them for a reason. I get them for a reason. And a lot of times I end up coming, coming true. So I, this is scary. This is like Amber Alert scary. So I'm so in my feels right now. I think that's why I'm blocked. I'm not able to get the uh, message. So um, I'm going to get this out so somebody can get it. I hope this helps somebody. I do because I don't, I don't have a good feeling about this, you guys. I don't have a good feeling. I feel a kid is probably going to, they're, I feel whoever this is for, they're going to be successful. And I'm be, I'm being serious about that. Um, so I'm getting this out so somebody can see this. Love you guys. Namaste.